Most people in America are familiar with parenting concepts because, hey, if you have a little fun time with your girl or guy friend and you end up pregnant, then voila, you become a parent, presuming you choose to keep it. The reality is that in America we have this concept of right to life, and right to life involves a heck of a lot more than the decision of whether or not to terminate the theatrical life. What I mean by the theoretical life is that what we're presuming is that God is not mighty enough and powerful enough to establish when and where he's going to put a soul into a being. We can presume, if we have the scientific data, that the baby starts with the soul. But I don't think that's the case of the embryo. What I think is that the child is inserted into the baby from God at the point of a certain period of development. I also think that God has come about to do this because of the fact that prenatal care can be challenging. What I want you to see is that parenting produces a nation, produces a society, produces a community, and produces a village. And what we've often said across the world is it takes a village to reach and raise a child. The child is the future of America. So how you parent and your parentage of a child is what's going to impact your family for the rest of your life. So when we talk about right to life, we also have to talk about the right to life of the parents. Is the father mature enough to give up his life in any way to care for that child appropriately in age-appropriate ages and stages of that child's development? Is the mother mature enough to get off her ass and go to a library or a half-price bookstore or a full-on bookstore and buy a book on parenting? If she's not, then she should not have a child. There are young people that are misspending all the time. They are too young to recognize the difference between saving and spending. Now many of them know how to shop frugally because of their life experiences, but some kids don't realize that your child doesn't need everything at every moment of time, especially in the early stages of a child's development. But there are things that they can make with their own hands, with their own markers, with their own note cards that work with the child eye development or ear development. And the type of music and the volume it is impacts a child's hearing. We don't need to ruin a child's hearing with full blasting, rock music or rap music or even classical music. Playing classical music is something we've known for a long time in studies is an appropriate way to put a, bed, a child down at bedtime. What it does is improve the mathematical and scientific aspects of the mind. I'm sure many of you saw the film that showed off the colored women who were helping NASA to save astronauts. I cannot remember the number crunching film, but it was impressive to me because I cannot do that. I do not have that skill set. And I marvel at how wonderfully directed that film was to really highlight all the challenges of racism and intelligence. Mm -hmm.